So that fight has thus begun. Manuel Bojorquez is there in Tulsa, joins us now. And Manny, what happens now that Betty Shelby has turned herself in and been released on bond? Yeah, she has been released from this jail on a $50,000 bond. We're told she is to have a hearing on Monday, and then the case will proceed through the judicial system here in Tulsa County. Keep in mind that the U.S. Department of Justice also has a civil rights investigation going on at the same time. The results of that and a possible trial, as you know, in these cases could be weeks, even months, before we know how all of this will, will uh, turn out. Uh, Manny, it is impossible to ignore uh, the greater uh, uh, national framing of what has happened there in Tulsa, especially as it relates to what we're seeing uh, transpire in Charlotte. Uh, with the tensions running so high nationally, how has that community been reacting to what's happening? Well, we have seen protests almost daily here, but they have been smaller than what's been going on in Charlotte, and they have been peaceful. I think here you had a situation, and the mayor told us this earlier this week, uh, where they tried to get ahead of what could be a very controversial uh, situation. Uh, they reached out to the family first to show them the video, but they also reached out to religious leaders within the African-American community uh, who urged protesters to remain peaceful ahead of the release of that videotape. They knew the videotape would be bad and difficult to watch, and they wanted to get ahead of the situation and, as the mayor said, show that they were being transparent here and not trying to hold anything back. Again, uh, uh, Manny, with regard to the video that has been released, we see that video from the overhead view in the moments just prior to when Terrence Crutcher is, in fact, shot. We do see him, uh, as the video we're looking at right now, walking backwards from the police back towards that vehicle with his hands up. But quite literally, as uh, this aerial view uh, just moves to a point where Crutcher is obscured, do we have or do we know of another, uh, the existence of video from another angle that shows exactly what happened? We do not know at this point of any other video as it relates to the shooting. There were two dash cams and that helicopter video is all we know about right now. And yes, it is really difficult to tell there. And there is a debate about what happened leading to that very moment where he was one tasered by one officer and then shot by Officer Shelby. There are some who say that his hands were not up at that final moment. The officer at this point who opened fire had said initially that she believed he was reaching into the driver's side window. The family has disputed that claim, saying that they believe the video shows that the window was rolled up. So there's still a lot of debate about those critical moments uh, just before that, uh, that the officer opened fire. And again, with charges now uh, leveled against Officer Shelby, uh, who is released on bond, uh, that debate will move to a courtroom. Manuel Bajorquez there in Tulsa, we appreciate it.